live. Yeah. Mm -mm. I'm waiting. Come on, mm -hmm. phone. Are we live? <clears throat> Come on. Are we waiting for it? Oh, there it is. Oh, oh. my. We are live. Hey. We are live. Here we are. Oh, hey, we are. welcome back, everybody. We Yay. are live with our next edition of the Anime oh, Time Machine. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Guess who? Vincent Chong, ladies and gentlemen. Hi. 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 Thank you so much for coming Thanks to for our coming. studio today. Thanks, this guys. Is awesome. Very excited. Um, yeah, look at all me. these people here to see Hello. you. Hello. Look at all people these people are chiming in. in the chat. Yeah. Hi, guys. Hi, everyone. Oh. Hi, Christopher. Hi, Let's say our hello, Kizimon. shall we? Simon, hey, Crimson. Crimson Death. Okay, now I have to wow, get it on in my face. <clears throat> Sorry. Read I'll put it. You in. read it. Ashar, uh, thank you for being here. Yeah, tap those shots. Onyx Gamel Super U2. Um, um, Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hi, Arjuns. Hi, Hello. Ninja Forge. Yo. What's up, guys? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> You guys Hi, are Nathan. here. Hi, Nathan. Nathan Montoya. Yeah. Hi. Hi, Nathan, Nathan Montoya is a friend here. of ours, and we just want to say a oh, shout out. Oh, you got out. a Hello Kai from Asher Nate. Hello. Oh, Asher. Someone, someone knows you. Yes, Magic right away. Ninja, hello. Hi, oh, hi. Hello. Yeah, so you guys, if you tap the, um, I'm going to do it, tap the little hearts. Little hearts. Tap them. Then, then more people will it? see the live. <clears throat> then they more people know that we're live. Oh, that's how technology works. That's right. Hey, so, hey you know, from tap Colorado, away. Aqua 90. Uh, Val, so good to see you. Kai, oh, loves you. Ashar, you sweet. You Ashar. sweet. You sweet. Um, Hello from Colorado. Yeah. Did you bring the Gohan cookie cutter and the keychain? Aqua 90. Oh, you know what? Next next hour, I will go and get the keychain. The cookie cutter my husband has filed in our kitchen. Mm. And I looked through all the cookie cutters, and I haven't found it yet. I did look for it again this morning. Hey, Berwick, awesome. Awesome. Smack that heart. Yeah, give that heart a spanking. Hello. What happens if you do the, the crying face? What does that do? Do it. Just do it anyway. I'm going to do it. It just shuts us down just all of a sudden. Just, just all? I think if you get enough like, crying faces, stuff. it does. <laughs> the Fire? Netherlands. I just love this. Death those emoticons. Netherlands. What time is it over there? Yeah. Please. Oh, yeah. 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 That's a good question. What time is it over there, Ninja Nine Forge? Nine Maybe. What time is it? Christopher Neosa Impressive. says, hope y'all have been well. Yes, Christopher, we have up, been Christopher? well. And I missed you guys last month when I had the COVID. So Remember I, the COVID? Mm -hmm. It's good I didn't come and infect everybody. It's yeah, really thanks for that. We were, yeah, we missed you. We did. Yeah, I missed you guys. We really just, did miss you. Yeah, I'm not having really staff in the room. Yeah, it was really tough. It was, yeah. Very, I found it really just like, kind of strange. <laughs> <laughs> we're still recovering. Yeah. 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 yeah, I'm still recovering. Oh my god. What but guardian yeah. of the galaxy do you want to dance battle against and who would win? Just watched the movie last night. Uh, well, well, I would You did go. go. No, okay. I didn't. <laughs> I'm just reading. But tell oh, me. Okay. That's what I do for a living. Well, they had the, the, the grand, you know, the, the special screenings were last night. Tonight's the big night for oh. the opening of the film. Awesome. Uh, so, yeah, a lot of anticipation sense. there. Well, what well, who would you I have would a... dance battle against the the greatest of them all, a Star-Lord, and I would freaking win. <laughs> I would do some b-boy stalls like oh. you've never seen and I would take him to school and I would not give him a diploma <laughs> oh Ooh. there you have it Ooh. so here's another question there for you, you from I, I'm saying Ashar I don't know if it's Ashar Asher. Asher. or Asher sorry I don't know Feel free I, to I love your us. name um, so what is your new show about I don't know New show. We can't talk about new shows. There's all these NDAs. We're never allowed to yeah, talk it's about It's crazy. New stuff. That's why we. Yeah. That's why we had to wait and build a time machine later because yeah. we weren't allowed to talk. About that's, <laughs> that's what this is it about. It took us years to I get, get there. I get it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Like no one's gonna be mad at us we, now. Yeah. We could talk about old shows. Yeah. 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 But yeah. well, we can also go into the future. Remember, this is well, a time. What machine. about what Truth. about what just was released? Because that would be new for what all just of was our released. Let's see. Um, Sonic Prime. Sonic Prime. Ding, ding, was ding. Just Yay! Ding, ding, ding. Now, Sir, is Sonic Sword Prime a, a series, a movie, or a video Sonic game? Sonic Prime is a animated series based Fantastic. on a not very well-known IP called Sonic the Hedgehog. And mm. it is on yeah. Netflix. And uh, it's a pretty fun show. I kind of thrashed my voice on that. Kind of killed oh, it yeah. a lot. I played, uh, Who are you playing? I played Doctor. I, I played three different doctors. I played Doctor. Doctor Babbles. He gets very angry. I played Doctor Doe. He's like a teenage doctor. He's like, whatever. I don't really care. And then Doctor Teep, deep. Where he he's very philosophical and he's very dramatic. So I don't know why they chose me. 
<laughs> and then I also play uh, versions of Knuckles because this is like the Shatterverse, so they go into nice. different Shatterverses. So I play Nux. He's like called a uh, renegade Nux, and he's from New York City. You know where Eggman rules everything? That's where Nux is from. And then I play uh, Gnarly Knuckles, man. He lives in the forest, dude, okay? So he's a bit paranoid about stuff. <laughs> and um, who's the other guy? Ah, yes, of course. Oh. The, the, the great pirate, Knuckles the Dread. <laughs> Arg. That would kill. That's freaking Thrashed fantastic, oh, but yeah, it sounds yeah. painful. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, long was. term, lots of lines. It was. And be... when we were recording it, we were recording it separately, and mm -hmm. I had to do a lot of pickups for things and i i basically did like one three hour session yeah that was like all me the whole time you know when we mm. used to do sessions as a group all together we could wait yeah kind of sit back listen but when yeah. you're doing it by yourself for three hours it's just no, me yeah. screaming the whole time intensified I yeah it's like vincent tong concentrate exactly yeah Square. so that's a lot and like more like dubbing yeah and yeah. you're probably because you're there for just by yourself you're gonna get have more takes around you because oh, they so can. Much. Yeah. They sure can. Well, we got you. Let's use it. Let's it was, use it. It was killer. Oh, and I you. literally had to do like two days of vocal rest because I my oh, voice wow. was cracking as I was speaking. Like my <gasps> chords were just like literally like because oh, yeah. it was like pirate dude fighting, Mr. Dr. Deep fighting, babbles. Yeah. It was just a constant action. So yeah, I basically just sat at home and watched Arcane, which was a awesome. Yeah. Was a pretty good compliment. Don't do that. Kenny, do you have anything yeah. interesting in there? Yeah, Chris Stiffer is asking Vincent, uh, any funny stories or memories from Mega Man Fully Charged? Ah, uh, yeah. Mega Man uh, Fully Charged. Mega Man Fully Charged. Yes, Mega Man sounded like this. No, he didn't. Um, <laughs> Wait, was no! Actually, yeah, he's a lot different, actually. Mega Man was like this, and um, it was hard doing, you know, like 9 a.m. sessions. Uh, waking up like this and sounding like this because I don't sound like that in the morning. It's the toughest place to go. It is. At nine in the morning. It's nine. just a, yeah. yeah, that's brutal. Huh. It's a cross huh. yeah. There you go. Yeah. I'm there. Um, Bring out the mic. So what do you do to prepare your voice for these challenging ones? Like when you wake uh, up early. I, yeah, I gotta get up a bit earlier. And that's what you have to do. And do this <laughs> voice. You know what's funny? It's like, yeah, it's like you, I'm going back to like my musical theater roots, kind of like warming up the voice, going yeah, in yeah. the car as you're driving there, blah, 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 and you know, doing all your exercises. You're flying arpeggios? Exactly. Um, but to answer Chris's yeah, uh, funny question, story. funny stories. Um, there, there, was a, there was one episode, I guess it's in the very end, where we find out there's, a, there's a, a Mega Man sort of like twin, doppelganger. Mm -hmm. His name's Namajin. And so like Mega Man sounded like this, and I did the voice of Namajin as well. So he's a bit of more of a badass guy. And um, and then Mega Man finally lear learns his name. He's like, he's like, my name is Namajin. And he's like, huh. And his line I think was like, I saw I thought you were more of a I think it was like so I have this little mega mini that lives in my head, played by Ryan Beale. I don't know if you know Ryan Beale. <laughs> One of the funniest dudes in Vancouver. But he's like, I think the line was like, I thought you were more I see you more as a Ken. And then <laughs> And then, but but Ryan, because like for whatever reason, or oh, it was Mitch, I think it was Mitch. Yeah, yeah. And then the the, the director was like, oh, that sounds kind of weird. That sounds, sounds sort of like bitch. So then <laughs> the, he wanted to switch it. So Ryan Beal, being like the the most amazing improver I know, he goes like, huh? I always thought you were more of a Vincent <laughs> because I played. But then it didn't fly. Oh. It was hilarious for us. Clearly, that wasn't a very funny story. Um, no, no, that but it was, was funny for us in the studio. That was a good one. Yeah, that was a good yeah. one. Was I don't know what else. What else? Nothing really funny ever happens in, in voice sessions. <laughs> no one peed their pants? Or... No. Well, no. that's not funny. Like, candy. <gasps> Hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Well, Jason Simpson once took off his pants. Yeah. Hello. We could go there. Could it be there? It's, uh, well, Jenny? Carl, Carl could tell us all about that one. Yeah, well. You were victim to that, weren't you? Yeah, see, I think we were, <laughs> he and I remember it slightly different. I remember he was in there. Summertime, he had his shorts on, but he's like, ah, oh, these things are just... They're about on me. Oh, these are just riding up. I'm taking them off. I'm taking them off. Wow. So, he did. Wow, amazing. He's not here to defend himself, but he wouldn't defend himself. No, no. There you go. And then I did my best to try and... Proceed to get people to pay I tried to pay dollar in the building to get any... Who's here? What females are here? Let's get them in. Yeah. Jesus. I never said I need you. Jesus. Do something. This is what can happen, Jay. a female Jay. that's like in a it's position fist. of power. That would be the best. Oh, that, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. David's in the house from Tanzania. Yes. Oh, David. David. Welcome. He was telling me about you, David. Yes. Yeah. So, he's hold um on. Good he's, to see you. He's always faithful for us. And, yeah, uh, Tanzania. And like Welcome back, my friend. Yeah. Never been there. 
would it love to go. It is late there. It is late. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Like That's midnight or good. something. Good for you, man. Yeah, he hangs on to Thanks the last hour, and it's fantastic. Yeah, so. right. We yeah. are. So I applaud we're every in time. awe of David, actually. Um, Ninja Forge is asking for Vincent. What do you think of Kyler? Kyler is. Um, do you know Kyler? You guys know Kyler. Everyone should know. Kyler. Everyone knows Kyler. Well, we know Kai is in Ninjago. I He's know the Kai. red ninja yeah. that I play. Yeah. Skyler is some sort of a, uh, I would say a, a female love interest for Kai. Nice. And so people have been shipping Kai and Skyler. Nice. And so they're calling them Kyler. Oh, okay. okay, so what do you think of that? Like, oh. is this a good thing? Oh, it's always a good thing. I think, yeah, yeah, really? I think, I think he thinks it's okay. Yeah, is it very Especially because and... Kyler, oh yeah, because Kyler's played by my, my buddy uh, Heather Dirksen. Oh, oh, oh Heather. Sweetheart. I love Heather. I love Heather. So uh, any chance I get to shout out to Heather, I, I do, and Anytime we can ship Kyler, I'm game. I am game. That's pretty great. Um, what do you think of Kyler? What do you all think of Kyler? Dragons Rising. Me. I see a question here. What was it like uh, voicing Gene Khan from the Mandarin? Oh, God. It was a big part of my childhood here. Wow. In Serbia. Oh, Whoa. Is that something you Hello, guys worked on together? Serbia. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Who was that? What's his name? Uh, Her name or their name? Jovan. Jovan. I'm saying Hi, right. Hi, Jovan. Oh, Jovan. again. Yeah, Jovan. Jovan. We've always had this back and forth if it's Joe or Yo. I think we asked him last time. I think we did. We did. I think He'll I probably tell you again. Yeah, tell us again. So Carl and I worked on Iron Man Armored Adventures together many moons ago. Like, I don't know, 1984. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. That's a long time ago. It was a while. It was like one of It'd my first things. Something. Like one, one of my first things. And uh, I was super stoked just because I was playing in a Marvel show. Yeah. And we had uh, Carl as our voice director and Adrian Petru as our Iron Man. And it was a blast. I had an awesome time because I got to play Gene Con. So this is like Iron Man when they were like teenagers. Mm -hmm. Right. So right. I was in school with Tony Stark as Gene Con. Yeah. And then I would do the Mandarin voice, which was very low at the time. Oh, I could I do it a lot it. better, I feel like. I, I've done so many like young kid voices now. My voice is kind of shifted. I can't really... Get that deep stuff going, but it was all like you know mixed in with like a post effect anyway. You're going through a metamorphosis. Uh yeah, it li literally was. I would find rings of power, and and, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I would get different unique powers to fight Iron Man. And we didn't know Tony and and Gene yeah. didn't know of each other's uh, alter ah. ego. Exactly. Yeah. So it was super fun uh, playing off of these guys. And he had a really tragic story. Like the, his whole reasoning for finding these Makluan rings was so that he could not do you know do bad on the world but to to bring his mom back Aww. because she passed like it was such a tragic story mm -hmm. and yeah. um but what a blast working with you carl in that in that oh. ocean studio and, and playing with all those great cast members yeah that was a good cast it was so a really good fun cast. yeah and it was really cool because i was still a young actor at that point and um it was i don't know if they do it these days but we got flown down some of us got flown down to la I got flown down to the Marvel Studios, and I got to go there and see like the big Iron Man. They had this huge Iron Man suit there, cool. and I got to go with Craig Kyle, who was our director of the show and producer and Marvel, and uh, do a little interview with them down there and see his office. His office had like toys everywhere. Like, oh yeah, Wolverine, X Men stuff, Halo stuff, and I just was like, I one day will have an office with <laughs> toys everywhere, with like. <laughs> with like ships and dragons flying everywhere so now i do and i'm very happy oh, yeah, I'm very, i have the space now that's yeah, so cool I'm graduated <laughs> yeah a uh, disney mon is asking what is your favorite disney movie disney mon hey, disney mon i am my favorite disney movie it's a good question classics peter pan is a nice. classic of mine because i never want to grow up Aww. you know who is this man? i feel like i'm a lost boy kind of just playing all the time um, I recently had a birthday where I turned <laughs> years old, and uh, but I still feel like a kid. And so Peter Pan, I would say, classic. But, you know, there's something to be said about the new stuff, like Tangled, or The Princess and the Frog, just beautiful yeah. characters and yeah. stories and paintings. And But I've always, like, that's a good dream of mine, is to become, like, a Disney prince, or some sort of, like, Disney character that gets a song, you know, gets a sing to somebody. Right. <laughs> That'd right. be amazing. Yeah. Thanks for the question. That is a great question. And uh, would Mega Man team up with the Avengers or the Guardians of the Galaxy? Uh, my Mega Man probably would because he was like a friend to everyone. So in our Mega Man show, 
This is maybe a bit different than when you guys played Mega Man as a kid. Our Mega Man show, so you would meet like a new uh, robot master every time. Be like, yo, Fireman! And he's like, has a big battle and at the very end. He's like, yeah. yo, Fireman, I think you just need to do some deep breathing, maybe some yoga. And he's like, oh, hmm, maybe you're right. So it was like every episode was like a lesson of like how you can be a better person. And so I think my Mega Man would definitely team up with anyone because he's just such a team player. Teamster. He's a teamster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nathan Montoya is graduating on Saturday, May 20th, mm. and wow. wishing that we could be there for to support. Let's go. Aww. Yeah. Live. Let's go. Congratulations, Congratulations buddy. Oh, that's, that's awesome. Nathan. That's huge. Yeah. <laughs> what advice should we give Nathan on his graduation? Party hardy. Party hardy. That's lovely. Keep it together. Keep it, it together. It's inspiring. Keep it together. I don't know. That's what I do for kids. Party hardy. Yeah. Party Actually, hardy. Matthew <laughs> McConaughey, he did a nice, like, um, commencement speech. So you should watch that, probably. <laughs> We're, we like to party. <laughs> but, Pure H2O in here. But we want you safe. Yeah. We want you safe. Uh, Lauren's asking, can't wait for Dragon's Rising. Is Ronan coming back? I don't know. I don't even know what that means. What so, do you mean? Don't even what do you know. Mean? What do you mean, Ryan? Right? Yeah, I right. missed that. Right. I don't even yeah. know what that do means. Do you know about Dragons Rising? No, I don't know no, what that no, means at all. I don't know what you're yeah, talking you about. You even just signed an NDA. No, I, I didn't. But I don't even know what it is. You don't. You didn't sign an NDA, so you can talk all about it. <laughs> I don't know it exactly. <laughs> right. Say stuff. You got us. <laughs> you got us. Um, it, it's, it's actually easy to be ignorant when you are. <laughs> True. Oh, Melissa's birthday. Love's Darkness's birthday is on the same day as Nathan's graduation. We should probably sing happy birthday and happy graduation at the same time. Try it. Uh, do Does it work? Be, I don't know. We can try it. I'll remember. do graduation. Uh, and Brian, you do graduation. You guys do birthday? I'm just doing both. Uh, and it's <sighs> Melissa and Nathan. Okay. Okay, maybe we all do both. Is that better? Yeah. No, I'll do I'll do all seven. Yeah. Uh, happy birthday. Graduation to you. Happy graduation birthday Happy graduation birthday to you. Happy 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 very nice. Yes, congratulations to you both. Uh, Jovan's asking, what was it like working with Kirby Morrow and, Vin and Ninjago? Oh my god, don't make me cry. Oh, oh my god. So I started Ninjago like 13 years ago, I think. And yeah, I sat next to Kirby. That, that was like, I think one of my first times meeting Kirby was on that show. When we didn't know what the heck this show was. And I've always, of course, known of this legend, this this mega power in the voice industry, and this freaking charming and good-looking guy, the kindest, nicest brother. The kindest. And he was, uh, yeah, a brother, a ninja brother for, you know, so many years. And I would sit next to him, and he's always joking around, always getting in trouble because he's constantly looking at videos and going, hey, check this out. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, bro, it's your line. And he's like, oh, is it? Okay. And he's, and he's just so sweet and charming. That sounds like Kirby. Yeah, you would never, you never get in trouble. And you just say, oh my gosh. And he'd be like, yeah. And every week he had like a new girlfriend. And he'd be like, hey, that, huh? and <laughs> he loved, he loved, treated them he loved like the ladies. Incredibly he loved, well. yeah. he loved the ladies. He loved the ladies. He was a charmer. Yeah. Yeah. Charmer. And so, yeah, yeah he, he was... He'd always have a, a story, too. Like, there would be a massive story. It's like, wow! I mean, that's something that like someone true. would have as their, like, year giant epic story. That's but right. he'd have one of those giant epic stories pretty much weekly. Yeah. Was, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Kirby... So he lived, a lot of stories, yeah. Charming. He lived, like, the average of three lives for the average yeah, one person. Right. I kind of, oh, yeah. You know, he really... Yeah. Amazing dude. He had the joie de vivre. Absolutely. Yeah. Missed that dude. Yeah. Big time, big time, yeah. We all do. He should be here. Yeah. I think every machine that we've had, uh, he's been mentioned it one way or the up. other, and I'm yeah. sure it'll be something that goes through the existing timeline of what we do with these. So, yeah. uh, respect which, to the which man. Should, which should, you know, for sure. Should. Yes, yes. Uh, Magic Ninja's asking, what is everyone's favorite video game? 
Ooh. That's a tough one because oh. I, I, I love video games. But, uh, Mario Kart. <laughs> what what have you been us. playing? <laughs> As of late, uh, Minecraft with my son. But um, uh, Call of Duty, I've, I've always been a big fan of that whole franchise. And, God, uh, right. I know, I know. Um, I God of War, I, I, I play God of War, um, <laughs> Warcraft, um, you know, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. did you play Warcraft way back when, when they had like those like I don't know, when it was super basic, like the first version of it? I did try that, and I, then I kind of got out of it for a while, and I've uh, and then I'm more so doing Warhammer because I was also working the franchise, and mm. Warhammer is pretty amazing. Cool. What about y'all? Yeah. What about you, Vincent? I only play video games that I'm on. Oh, I'm joking. That's a great rule. If it's got my print, I'll play. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I suck so bad at video games. Really? So yeah, do I. I'm terrible. I'm very bad I'm at video games. You're not guy, though. I would, I would assume you would have been like yeah, a, I can punch people in real life, a ninja on the... No, not with a... Not with a it's just too limiting for my, for my expression. Of yeah, your crap is video games. versus fine yeah. motor. No, but I used to love Halo. And, yes, me too. Um, yeah, that I'm was playing, fun because like, I like, you know, shooting Love shooting Halo. aliens and stuff like that. Doom was a big one. Me too. Yes. But I, I used to volunteer at the the children's hospital, and like one of our big things was like playing like the video games with kids. And then I asked this one kid, I'm like, "What do you want to play?" He said, "Ah, oh, Halo." I'm like, oh, "You better watch out, man." I'm pretty good. <laughs> I and and he was game. like six years old. Yeah, smoked me. I yeah. didn't win once, and I was like, at first, yeah. you know, I let the kids win. I'm like. Oh, this kid's actually good. I'm gonna try my hardest. Now. Yeah. I'm smoke this <laughs> Not even once did I win. I was, and that's when I realized I am terrible. I am yeah, absolutely yeah. awful at I'm, video games. I think I, mean, I have fond game. memories of playing. I think it was like James Bond. Golden Eye. Yeah, I remember the James yes. with my kid and him just just shooting the hell out of me constantly. Yeah. I loved right? it. Yeah. yeah. My brother loved yeah. that game. I remember going to his yeah. place all the time. Me and Paulie Golden playing. Eye. Yeah. And back then, I don't think you could save games. I was just talking to my wife about that. You couldn't save no, games. Yeah, I don't no, no, they were too yeah. gigantic. Yeah. What about Assassin's Creed? Are you good? Yeah. What oh is your my game? gosh. So I'm only good at Mario Kart. That's good. Who do you choose? Who do you play with? Well, I like to be Luigi because. Because <laughs> I like, I like hearing Luigi win. <laughs> Luigi. <laughs> uh, um, no, it's such a great Waluigi? game. Waluigi. Waluigi. No, no, Luigi, Luigi. Okay. Only. Um, <laughs> I just sing. I like to sing Waluigi. But you know what? Yeah. I I want to talk about COD because I fought my son when he was fourteen years old so hard to not have it in our house. Mm -hmm. And he said other people have it, and I was like, go to their house. I mean, we're the only people in my whole neighborhood that don't have it, and I'm like, go to their house. It's yeah. not coming in my house. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, and then, meanwhile, I've done Saints Row. I've like voiced. <laughs> Oh dear! Yeah, yeah. I, can't, I can't even. So, like, I have no, I have no leg to stand on. But I'm like, this is not happening. All cred destroyed. It's the swears. <laughs> it's the blood. It's the violence. It's the shooting. It's the I would not uh, entertain yeah. it. Meanwhile, in the booth. So yeah, those are good. I, yeah. I come home one day, or I'm out one day after refusing him again, and he writes me a little thing. Says, you know, we. He goes, well, I just created a me, uh, of you, and I've been shooting at it for ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Did that happen? I came home and screamed swears, like I was this wow. to him, and I said, I don't want to see you until tomorrow morning. Oh, and oh, oh, oh. We'll get this sorted. It was awful, and then I wow. got it for his birthday, probably. <laughs> it worked? Day. It yeah. worked? Six months later. Wow. Yeah. No, that's what you need to do, kids. That's what you need to do. That worked. They told, me, pushed. they told me there was a version with no swears and no blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is I'm that right. true? They'll always tell you that one. There are some games. I don't know about that one. Or did they totally... Yeah, what was the one? Not Call of Duty, but... um. There was one that my, when my kid was really young, he was like, no, it's too gory. Well, there's a, the, there's a filter. You can turn off the, the gore. Oh, oh gore. really? Well, gore I mean, bought Mortal Kombat? Or, no, there was what's, that the, what's the, the soldier one? Villages and zombies. Oh, swap. There's, there's zombies. so many. I'm trying to God think of War? No. Well, God of War is a pretty... It's a really okay. well-known one, but I can't think of the name. Last and, it's, and it's not... Um, no, older. Oh. Uh, uh, Ghost Recon? No. Um, Joust? Mm. Joust? No. <laughs> I can't think of it, but whatever. But you had the option but, to... Yeah, and, and, and there yeah. was. And, yeah, On a parental yeah. setting kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Because otherwise it would be easy to go to settings. Oh, uh, uh, GTA. Turn that back on. No, it wasn't GTA, yeah. That was, a, that was a discussion for the long Whoa, time. Whoa, yeah. that's a tough one, right? Yeah, yeah it is. There's some heavy content there. That, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm dealing with all that stuff with my son now, so... Well... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it yeah. was... Yeah. Okay, let's get out. Um, yeah. Thank you. Good question. Yeah, you, you, you sent us south on that one. Holy... 
There's a lot going on in this chat, you guys. We love oh, it. Oh, guys. We yeah, let's pick up some questions here. Uh, Maruna's asking, what was your favorite character to voice? Any oh, you? me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I like the ones that don't hurt my voice. Uh, so that's Kai's always nice. been pretty awesome. Because Kai's also helped pay the mortgage. So that's a good one. Got to think about that. What a great um, voice. That, that is a great It is a great gig. Yeah. That, you, just that in itself, I'm thinking, yeah. It's, it's, it everything has been my bread and butter, my voice. Yeah, yeah. you know? Everything. But like something that's been fun, like, I don't know. Let me see. Let me see. I mean, like, I love doing the pirate uh, uh, dread. dread. Knuckles the Dread. That was super fun. I love yeah. doing that voice. Yeah. Um, I also did like a Crash in the Ice Age movie. That was really fun. I like stuff when I can like yeah. make stuff up. You know, I love I love yeah. directors and producers that let you play and let you improvise. So yeah, doing doing stuff like that, anything that allows me to play, is really great. Like and it. that's Carl's specialty. I feel mm. is yeah, if letting it, yeah, you do things possibly, that yeah, are that's 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 nice. yeah. Well, I really love that. <laughs> and it's hard. I mean, the client wants what they they want what they wrote. What, what they want. It, yeah, yeah. But what, get, sometimes what you have is actually. More creative, it's, right? It's something, this is more of a spark to something that comes up in the moment. Can be. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We're all inspired. Sometimes I would do my swear take before my real take. Just, mm -hmm. just to get it, it out. Because it was so creative and I had to get it out. We might as well just get it out. Yeah. Right? <laughs> get it out. Get it That's out. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, all, the, all the best lines in Hamtara were uh, on the cutting room floor. And, like, <laughs> were wildly inappropriate. <laughs> yeah. <that's, laughs> yeah, a show about hamsters and we just absolutely ruined it. <laughs> you could have put an entire other show and together. we yeah. killed it in a different way than you do imagine ruined ruined oh right. you know David's birthday is next to Mickey Mouse on the 17th oh and boy Mickey's is on the 18th so maybe Mickey Mouse could say hi happy birthday happy Mickey. birthday um what's his name David yeah, yeah. happy David. freaking birthday David <laughs> <laughs> that's how Mickey says it now I don't know Oh, yeah. I'll never work for Disney again. <laughs> no, no, Disney, don't look, don't look. Uh, Love's Darkness is asking Saffron. My brother heard you say Saints Row and his ears perked up. Which one were you in? Oh, Mel, oh. nice question. Oh, <laughs> We recorded in 2005 or 2006 when I was living in L.A. And I did, I feel like I did 50 voices. I know I did, like, at least 100 lines an hour and we just wow. kept switching characters. It was one of those sessions oh, where it was like two to four hours of just top to bottom. Just, heavy. just go. For so like long. hundreds of pages, it felt like. Wow. So, so it was long. crazy. But it was, and it was awful because I was being horrible people. Mm. So I went home and I was like, I have babies. Why am I, <laughs> why am I killing people? <laughs> oh, and I'll never be able to. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, Saints Row, uh, kind of like GTA, but mm, GTA, yeah, kind right. of, kind of the same vibe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, Vincent, what uh, first inspired you to be a voice actor? Well, mm. it goes back to the old. That's Caribbean. from Spin Harmony, by the way. Yeah, uh, Spin Harmony. Uh, I, I always, I watched cartoons since I was a little kid, Aww. and you know, it was like old. Spider-Man, Ninja Turtles, Bobby's World, Smurfs, original Ghostbusters, Smurf the guy. real Ghostbusters, right. like Ooh. old school, you know? Yeah. And like, I love the Disney. Like, I remember my first impersonation my parents used to tell me was Timothy Mouse from Dumbo. Like, yo, Dumbo! And I would pretend I was like drunk. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I love that character. Yeah, right. So like, oh. Dumbo was my first... Uh, That's Timothy very good. Mouse. That's yeah. very good. So I used to just do impersonations all the time. And and then I went into musical theater because that's where the real money is, kids. It's the song of dance. Um, <laughs> uh, but I've always wanted to do it, and I made this demo at the end of my, my theater school year, and uh, I, I wanted to just try it, just kind of like throw my hat in the ring and see. But I had all these people to compete with who are like the legends, the OGs of the voice community, that they were just like so good. So it took a long time to get my foot in the door. But, um, but finally I did. And it was, um... Boom! It's worth fun. the wait. It's worth fun. the wait. You call him Vinny Boom. Cow. You gotta, you gotta yeah. go boom, after boom, what you wanna do. Yeah. 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 And you have to be patient. You gotta be patient. 
Yeah, find your niche, you, right? I mean, there's also a point of uh, spreading yourself so thin to doing everything too. But if, uh, you do yeah. find a point of like the uh, stuff that you're good at. And, was, it uh, yeah. yeah. you know, yeah. was it hard to leave the theater? Was it hard to leave the theater? It was the easiest thing. Ever. <laughs> he still does here. This guy still does. Uh, you know the it's whole gambit. So it's it's not an easy. It's not an easy thing to do a run and continue like yeah. a relay series. Mm -hmm. You've done that, right? You've been in the middle of a run and uh, and sure. with that, and yeah. it's a lot of work. Yeah, yeah. theater it's... run is like at least seven shows a week, often more like eight or nine yeah, even. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Your voice, is, like I've had theater stuff where I would sing one night and nothing would come out, and I'd pretend oh, that yeah. there was something wrong with the uh, wireless. <laughs> <laughs> Give the sound man heck, right? Come yeah. on, get it together. Yeah, not working. Didn't you see me waving? This isn't working. Uh, David has a question for Carl. Oh, Do you know the Card Captors theme song? Oh man, no, I don't remember. Come on, Card Captors. It's been go. too long card without captures. man. I don't know. That's card probably like captors. twenty-five years ago. Card Captors. Maybe it goes. Gotta card catch captors. them all. No, it's Captors. <laughs> captors. Card captors. captors. I remember the show. But I do not remember the theme. Car captors, gotta catch them all. Car captors and car captors. Oh, hey, look. Car captors. There it is. Oh my gosh, Hero 108. Would you? I don't even remember that voice. That's from Hero 108. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that was a crazy show. Are you live on your own account? I'm trying to just do this just to see. Y'all can come over to 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 the anime time machine. We're doing a live a live stream right now with these friends. Hey! Go over to Anime Time Machine and please um, follow them and come chat with us over there. Because it's anime gonna... time. Yeah, it's anime time, man. Boom, boom. Get in there. Yeah. So, hey, we'll Carl. Just, we'll just be on there for yeah. a minute, so. Uh, Khaled saying, just sing any theme song you remember. Any theme song? Any oh. well, I was going to say theme songs. Uh, I remember quite vividly the two theme songs. For Death Note, and I remember fondly yes. you got the, fir you got the first one, the more rock and so roll good. one. So I remember good. you in the in the studio doing an improvised dance to the theme song. It was, <laughs> it was quite aerobic. I remember. I would do that. <laughs> yeah. I aerobic. would definitely do that. Yeah. Yes, it's I such a great that. theme song. Uh, it's fantastic. Oh That's yeah. So cool. yeah, I remember that. I totally remember that. Yeah, I did do that. You were, yeah, yeah, I was going crazy. Yeah, yeah, you were. That's yeah, funny. It was awesome. We don't get much work done when we work together. I feel like. <laughs> That's the idea. Which is awesome. So that was the Death Note theme songs that are most memorable. Can you well, sing? Well, there are two of them. No, well, the second one was, the second one, I remember the first time I heard it, it made me laugh out loud because it was full on <laughs> hardcore, like, death metal. It was. It was. It was, and it was awesome. It was great. Yeah. And it ended in just a cacophonic roar. And it's like, <laughs> wow. In your they face. just talk yes. about a brave choice. It was but great. we want you to sing one. I couldn't sing that one. It was, <laughs> it was barking, you know. Barking. Uh, sepulchre type sort of, you know. Nice. Uh, you did, I do, we do know, you guys remember which one Carl actually starred in, which theme song. <laughs> you do know that, right? You do. You starred in the theme song? He did. He just, was, he sang He lead. sang it. He sang which lead. One? lead vocals. Hamtaro. Yeah. E -e 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 Much better. Pitched up. It was pitched up. What? Yeah. Doesn't matter. That doesn't My matter. My best friend. We'll uh, yeah, we'll get a hold of that and play it on one of the next future. Um, yeah, yeah, so we'll we get gotta, it on we, the we have to play the song. So yeah. that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. It's only fair. I love that. Yeah, yeah. I lo I miss theme songs. Like shows don't have theme songs anymore. Yeah, some are more so rare. More more memorable than others. Yeah, it's rare. Well, especially in in, in the day. Yeah. 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 Like remember yeah. like sitcoms used to have like who's the boss? Is it? Yeah, There's a yeah. time for love and a time for all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Like Growing Pains was like one of my favorite ones. Show me the smile on your face. <laughs> Don't waste another minute on your crying. We're nowhere near. We're nowhere near. The best is ready to begin. Can you sing Ooh. Facts of Life? Facts of Life. Oh, take the good, you take the bad. Yeah, I mean, we got to get Rebecca. Like we need yeah. Rebecca because Rebecca sings yeah. the Facts of Life once in the studio. Mm -hmm. Facts of Life, yep. It's another great... You guys are too young. You guys are too young. <laughs> You're just all too young. No, Arcane has a good theme song. Oh. That's the, what's that, Dragons? Imagine Dragons. Imagine I was Dragons. listening. Yeah, great song. Yeah. I was listening to some um, Lego Ninjago songs, and I was like, that's pretty great. The Fold. The high Kikash. energy. Some high energy. Big 21 time. Jump Street. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what's 21 Jump Street? What do we yeah. have to say about 21 show. Jump Street? I don't remember that theme. 
sense. But yeah. I'm reading that comment out of context. Bam, 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 I was bam. in 21 Jump Street a were few you times. I was. You were? What did you do? Well, I, I was assaulted. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Talk about that. I was in 21 Jump Street, too. Were you? Yep. What, what did you do? You, what did you, what did you do? do? I was personally in background throwing football and not catching it because he couldn't. And then what happened? How did Person the lead actors interact with you? What was the scene about? <laughs> I was somebody walking by a, in a campus or whatever. You know what? I would have rather thrown a football than been assaulted. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. How about assaulted with a football? Yeah. yeah. That, that has happened. The story uh, last time? Okay. Came, it was, I was in film school and uh, there was a, the DOP for the for 21 Jump Street Brenton Spencer mm -hmm. had been a UBC person. He came out to the talk. He said, if anybody wants to come out to the set, you know, get a, make an appointment. And I was like the first one to volunteer, so I got to go to the set for the for an afternoon. And yeah. I was just sort of standing watching. And uh, uh, somebody says, hey, "Can you throw a football?" I'm like, no. Come here anyway. Oh. <laughs> and they nice. threw me as, as an extra. That's so. fantastic. Special skills. It was Special post skills. post relay, Tony. Relay. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I've never thrown one. I've only gotten hit in the head. I've only been struck with one. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> uh, what do you got, Kenny? Um, Shar is asking, uh, Vincent, do you miss Tommy and Jason? Uh, not really. No. Oh. Well, <laughs> beef with that kid. No, Tommy Andresen is a good buddy. He is the creator of Ninjago, Lego Chima, Lego Nexo Knights. Um, and I hear this new Lego show called Dreams coming out. I think you can create cool. as well. Yes. And so, There's a fan asking if you're a part of that. Uh, oh. In there. People I, are asking whether or not you're in. I'm part of sharing in how cool that show looks. It looks cool. Um, so, yeah, of course I miss Tommy. He's in Denmark. He's, you know, one of those guys that are in Denmark all the time. And sometimes we see each other and it's really nice. And we rib each other all the time. I love that guy. He's a good man. I bought him a hat. And we'll end up with that. <laughs> uh, David has a question for Saffron. Oh. Uh, I guess any of you guys can also answer. Uh, what is the funniest script you've ever read? Oh. Oh, wow. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> That's a mm. really funniest good question. Script. Funniest script we have ever read. That's and I wonder, does this pertain to ADR really, or just in general? Yeah, like, or? do you mean, like, funny on purpose? Or... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, crazy scripts would be Gintama for me. Like, those are crazy. bizarre. Yeah, those yeah. are just so Where you don't even... directed. Yeah. Yeah. Trouble, yeah. Trouble Chocolate, I think yeah. that was yes. really, uh, definitely some of the craziest, really crazy. nuttiest fun stuff. Random, I've ever like yeah. just, yes. Totally yeah. out there. Yeah. yeah. If you yeah, haven't yeah, seen yeah. it, check it out. Very funny. Yeah, Trouble Chocolate is one of these things that nobody knows about. Yeah, the super characters colorful. characters we played were like. I was, obscure character. Yeah. I was double I was double gendered. And yeah. I might have been I would morph from my tea. my female version to my British cockney version yeah. when I got angry. Wow. This is I love this. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I'd like to hear Actually some of the like funniest scripts have been clip. some of the recent ones. There's the French uh uh well Magoo, the re the, re the reboot of Magoo. Magoo. It's really funny. Like Mr. Magoo. Mr. Magoo. Magoo. Yeah. But what? Yeah, and he's young, yeah. A new version. Oh, I want to hear that. And uh, then Coach Me If You Can was the other <clears> one. Just a funny premise. Yeah. And yeah, really witty scripts. That's Just the so Andrew cool. Francis thing. We were, I think we were talking about that one. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. You know what a really hilarious show is? Uh, Dragon Quest, The Adventures of Die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who do you play I'll on Dragon right? Quest? <laughs> uh, constantly hilarious scripts. So funny. Yeah. <laughs> so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> No violence. Okay, so it's a bit uh, serious, is what you're saying. A little bit. Okay. It's so over dramatic. Yeah, it's fun. It was a it's fun awesome. show to work on, but it was yeah, very, very, very intense at all times. Very anime. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Extremely. Well, that, it was, we love that. It was a precursor to Dragon Ball. Yeah. Right? That show. Precursor? Are we really? Yeah, it was before Dragon Ball. I didn't know that. Because there was an original. We did one that was like a later version. Right. Okay. It was like an older one that was like before Dragon Ball. Mm. I'm making That's stuff crazy. up. I don't know. Kathy Westluck is in the chat. <gasps> Kathy! Right? Oh, wow. Kathy! Miss you. We want Kathy to come on the time machine. Kathy should be here. She yeah. definitely should be. In fact, drive out here. You're in. Get in. Out. I'm out. Yeah. You yeah. have way more experience in this than I do. Please, <laughs> get in here. 
Um, a couple more questions for Vincent about Ninjago. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What, who was your favorite character to voice? And, uh, favorite side character to voice? And side what was character. your favorite line as Kai? Um, favorite line as Kai? I just like saying, FIRE! Just because it's like his sort of trademark <laughs> and I just did it randomly one time and they liked it. And now I do it a lot. Um, yeah, that's so great. Uh, favorite one. side character? I think I played this, I played this one, I, I don't even, I think it's out now. Um, but I, I don't even know what it did, but I sort of did like a Teddy's <laughs> voice from like Bob's Burgers and I kind of did this guy, I, think, I, I, I don't know if he's like a guard or something like that, but uh, yeah, this voice is fun. I, I forget who it was though. It's who it was? Voice. I don't know, I don't know. Who was? You just never know. There you go. That is awesome. You don't know. Alex. Alex. Alex, um, hi. And uh, oh, Saffron and Brian, is there a DBZ character that you wish you played? Yeah, I would like to be adult Gohan. Mm -hmm. You know, That's Vegeta wouldn't have been a bad one to jump into. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah Except for the vocal cards. Well, I, I, would have, I think I would have done, had more longevity with that than doing Boo. Oh, Boo, yeah. Boo is like... Boo I'm, sounded I'm harder. really hard. Oh, because he had so many versions between being in here and then he's like his like, yeah, young kid one, Boo. Yeah. This yeah. little bastard. <clears throat> no! This guy. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. even pinchier and you have to be scratchy. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was yeah. and you know, for four hour blocks, you know, that can really, I can see that, yeah. yeah. Really, brutal. Really taxing. I had to have them, those sessions moved to, had to be Friday for recordings I needed, like you, Rest. Like, two days healing. Yeah. Yeah, it's minimum. Easy. Hear the word. I used to do the little that Warhammer too, and... like biggest vocal frappuccinos. Yeah. Oh my god, frappuccino is a good word for it. It is. I used vocal to do those voices and then go sing at night. Oh, See, this is it was problematic. You're a machine. It was being able, I couldn't imagine time machine. like doing because after you do a really hot session of this kind of stuff and you it got that glow brutal. about your throat. Yeah. I can't imagine. No thanks. Singing like it just was go just... home and not talk. I would just go yeah. home and not talk Celine and drink. Young. What's your elixir? Everyone's got one. Oh well, I That's find good. that yeah. not <laughs> something not super hot is actually best for me. Yeah, me too. Um, warm it can is be nice. like warm is fine, and I don't get too much into the lemon because it seems to curdle. citrus is bad. Don't ever curdle go citrus if you got vocal damage. Oh, You'll I can see that like acid, right? It so, really yeah. will do more damage to your throat. Yeah, so. ginger. Ginger, right? ginger That's the stuff I like change. though. Ginger Ginger's feels good. good. Ginger, ginger feels good. Yeah. Ninja, ginger. All those good things. And there's a, there's a stuff called Ninjiom. We, we've talked this before. Oh, yeah. N I N yeah. dash J I O M. Yeah. And Opera Singers K vocal. Oh. Yeah. That and oh, Thayer's Slippery Fayers. Elm tablets. You yeah. know, those two things. Oh, it will heal you. I used to actually guzzle Buckley's mixture <laughs> in the, when I was singing in the clubs. I'd be like, uh, ah! Bu Buckley's. Yeah. It really did work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you had like something about you, were you, were you like this? It was like putting <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> taking it Buckley's works. is like taking a vocal shotgun down your throat. Like, oh, oh, but because yeah. it tastes so bad, you think you you think it's working better. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's yeah. like, ah, this is actually working because yeah, it tastes yeah. like oh, it's take, tough. A, take a sip, shake it off, and get down to business. <laughs> uh, All right, we'll move on. Michael has a question for Carl. Mm. Uh, what was it like working with Willow it's Johnson it. as Android 18 in Dragon Ball Z and Janice Chod? Oh, yeah, Janice Cho. Oh, sorry. That's okay. That's okay. Carmen, uh, it, yeah. They're both great. I mean, I remember I've worked with Willow more uh, on, it was Inuyasha. Both of them. Yeah, well, Janish did a lot of different things over the years. Inuyasha. I actually have fond memories of doing, there was a show, we did a bunch of sh shows for a company, Lou Scheimer Productions. They're usually one-offs and they're often musicals and there'd be songs and sometimes we were just given a license to sort of just, we were given like a guide track and just kind of do what you want and I remember we Shanice we took this song it was just it was a nice song and with a bird singing a song and uh it just had we're supposed to sing one line through we ended up doing I think like eight part harmony like double every oh, four yeah, part man. harmony and doubled every track and it was all her and it was just glorious oh. wow took forever but it was awesome I was gonna that's say that was a, a process so yeah, yeah. 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 Woo! she was a yeah 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 and Willow Willow was a yeah she used to be in all kinds of Ranma too, right? Ranma. Ramana, Ramana one. Yeah, yeah, Inuyasha. All the classics. Dragon yeah. Ball, of course, yeah. 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 Are these animes you're listing? Yep, yep, yep. Is this what this show is about? <laughs> so like, Hold on a, a second. Yeah, a little before your time. But... 
Now, what was your? What were some of your first shows? My very, very, very first anime. Yeah. And animation really is was Slam Dunk okay. in Toronto. Oh, someone just asked mm-hmm. about that. Oh, yeah. That's hilarious. The question about Slam Dunk. Slam Dunk. Uh, that was in Toronto. Just the any very stories first... about Slam yeah. Dunk. Yeah. What's that? Uh, do you have any stories about Slam, Slam Dunk? Dunk? Well, it was my very first time doing anything animated. And you always remember your. So you always remember when your you first. say like this was your first dubbing, like actually ADR. ADR. So yeah. how was that for you going? It in? was weird because it, it's different than what we do here. Yeah, the rhythm band. It wasn't rhythm band, but it was like karaoke styles. Yeah. So it yeah. was like you. There was uh, yeah, a big yeah. screen, and then yeah. you see like the beeps, and then it was like red, and then it would go green, and then the words would start to change colors right. as you were right. supposed yeah. to read them. So you would read it as they were trying to like. I guess they synced here. the the mouth flaps to this. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's wow. crazy. I can't stand these. Did it work? Or I, was it it, it sure it worked, I'm but sure. it was like it was like yeah, reading karaoke. Yeah. But it was also just, I just always think about the people who have to do this. Who, who <laughs> timed this out? Yeah, that's who a lot did of work. Who it, yeah. writes these time codes? And then with the Rhythm Band days, like, I'm sure yeah. you guys have talked about that. Who does this? Like, it's so, uh, well, Kenny, hopefully they get paid Kenny a lot. does, he does, um, works for an audio description company. Mm-hmm. And we use, what do you call uh, it? We use voice cue. Voice cue. And so the writer goes in and writes it and and syncs all the cues with the spots that the description will be, which is actually between dialogue for the low side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. So yes. Between the That's dialogue. Right. It's primarily also a ADR program, um, but we right. use it a little differently. Okay. Cool. Yeah, so instead of going over dialogue, we put it in the, the lines in the spaces. Yeah, between. yeah. And they can shrink. It's still hard. And you can expedite the ADR. Yeah. yeah. I just find by a lot of this stuff where you're reading the dialogue from either a band or whatever it is, the the color code like you're talking about, you're losing an organic feel of the acting because you're not watching the actor. Uh, Yeah, I've never done it. I would think you end up reading, right? Uh, Yeah. Or if you're not experienced, you end up reading. Yeah, yeah. totally. Uh, Just a guess. So it takes a little bit of the, uh, the, you know. The creativity. I find it. That's true. See, what we do, what I've always used in all the years I've directed for ADR, it's three beeps. So you hear a beep, Beep, yeah. beep, coming where the fourth beep would be. Yeah. And all the timing of the line itself is sort of up to the actor. It's all... And it's really yeah. encouraged for the... Something organic so, happens the actor, there, right? Well, you, yeah. you watch the screen and you kind of get a feel for how it fits. Yes. And you can yeah. play the yeah. body language. Feel it. Yeah. We so, watch the scene first yeah. in its original yeah. it's whatever nice language though. the dub is. And we see it and then we get a feel for it. We've read the line so we get a, a basic idea of what's coming. Story, yeah. And then you get the beeps and you're out of the gate and you're on your own. Yeah. My and favorite then, thing about anime, though, is the reactions. Is the yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. We do more of that than lines half the time. I love those. Well, especially in DBZ. So yeah. We all, yeah. yeah. <laughs> A lot of reactions. Yeah. I love those. <laughs> Accentuated, what? exaggerated. It's so much fun. Yeah. We always yeah. wanted to do what, but we weren't allowed to do that. Or what, that. though. That's what, what, that's a, yeah. what that was what, what the, we wanted to do. What yeah, the, that's illegal. What the? <laughs> Don't what do the, it. What the, and so we'd be like, huh? 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 Scooby hey, doing. What's yeah. that? Um, I, I have know. a. I have. So David asked me to say this line as Bulma's mom from Dragon Ball Z. Did I play Bulma's mom? You sure did. Here we go. Bulma's mom, right here. Here we go. Live. Beep, beep, beep. A girl would be crazy to let him slip away, I tell you. Holy cow, Bulma's mm. mom. Bulma's mom. Sounds, mm. sounds a lot mm. saucy than I. Bulma's Oh, Bulma. was it too uh, saucy? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, a sauce. girl would be Ninja crazy girl, to two, let five, him seven, slip high away, I tell No, we need more sauce. Oh, we need more sauce. More, more sauce. How about more Minnesota. sauce sound like? Oh. How about Minnesota but saucy? A girl sauce. would be crazy <laughs> to let him slip away, I tell you. Oh. <laughs> I can smell the cigarette on there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Texted you. Check your phone. Check your phone. Check your phone, <laughs> check your phone boy. Oh, um, he's worthy of a text. Yeah. yeah. No, Bulma actually would be the character that I wish that I could play, mm. but not because I think I should be Bulma, but because I loved he- that character. She's a fun character, yeah. I really loved her, like the way she interacted, like the very beginning of the Dragon Ball series, where she's like, yeah. she and and Goku meet, and it's like it's so innocent, and she's such a sassy, yeah, like and sassy it was played dance. so beautiful by Lelania, like yeah, just yeah. perfect. Bulma, and then yeah. yeah, and then all the Bulmas subsequent, subsequent have been Bulmas, amazing yeah. as well. Lelania. Lindbergh? Yeah. Yeah. No wow. Yeah. I did uh, you know Paris her? with her. She was my Sandy. Oh, okay. 
Oh, yeah, yeah he did Danny. a lot of theater, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, I wasn't Danny. Her husband was Danny. I was yeah. Duty. Oh, okay. Yeah. Duty. I was Duty. <laughs> when, we, when we bought the place we're in, we've been now in 11 years. Yes. Uh, we realized, we found out about three houses down, there's like a, a name play, it was Lindbergh. It's like, how many can there be? And it's Crazy. Her parents was how she grew up in. So no awesome. Way. Now, what's your address, Carl? <laughs> well, <laughs> we'll just put that up here. <laughs> I'm not getting mad at you. Social insurance number? Sure. <laughs> well, you know what, um, Vincent, can, What's you, up? can you show people some of the um, prints that Oh, you my have prints. Yes, please. In our anime time machine Check. store. Also Go, in his own store. Go to my stores. This is just in Vines case. This is my, my little pony prints. That's Prince Blue Blood right there. Oh, yes. He's uh, a bit right. of hoity-toity. Oh, that's a good That's like Garble the dragon. He's a bit of a bomb. That's Donut Joe. He sells donuts. So what? I like um, donuts. This, what else do you this have? This is Flash Century, Donut Joe, and Sand. No, I forget this guy's name. Um, Can people see them? Above and there's the other some one? some yes. Ninjago prints and Blinkai. Did you show that one? Because I like this one. You like this one? This I really is, like it. Isn't I it? Think this it's is like a lot of pop. This is I like, like that a, one This too. is like a hangover kind of thing. Like Pixel Kitties. Uh, she drew this. <gasps> I first. love Pixel Kitties. But she's amazing. She's a great artist. She's amazing. Shout out to yeah. Pixel. She also has she's a story. She's phenomenal. This one's me as a gangster. If you want a picture of me hanging over your bed. Bit of blue steel. I mean, um, <laughs> but this one's um, this one's oh! from uh, Guy and Jastro. Oh! That's Jastro. I guess I did use that uh, Timothy nice. Mouse. You see yeah. what happens? You, know? you, see? you watch a lot of Dumbo as a kid. You get a voice. You get him on the screen. And then you get to play Kai. And, you know, this one's done for uh, Tommy Andreessen made this for me when I first went to Comic-Con. That was very fun. Comic so these are Comic-Con exclusives. Oh, yeah, and this one is um, Matsuda, Chief Yagami. Uh, this is Matsuda. Oh, yeah. We need to talk Matsuda. about that. Actually. Yeah. That's Guys, the old note. Huh? Well, the old just, no. the old it was only notes. inevitable that was going to pop up at some time. Yeah. Yeah. So, Death Note, so what's his name? His, his full name? Is... Yeah, Matsuda. Yeah, Matsuda. Matsuda. Um, yeah, Matsuda, you idiot! That's all. That's so... all I remember. <laughs> Matsuda, you idiot. It sounds yeah, like you kind of were instrumental in. Instrumental. Lights, Demise. Yeah. yeah. Funny because that Spoiler came up. Spoiler like, alert. Yeah, I watched Matsuda that scene again. I was like, him. wow, I forgot about it. Yeah, it was how awesome. dramatic it is. It was now. very yeah. dramatic. Oh, I, I was wish like, we my... could just hit, re like, play it. Was it was so like, good. Well, yeah. because Brad Swale is just such a freaking amazing actor. And I'd forgotten with Brad. I remember we, when he uh, he was just insane about like, watching it ahead of time, prepping the original. Mm, so he was good. so intense so good. about uh, prepping, and he wanted to. He kept the same kind of voice break as the original actor, oh, which was just throat rending. It was just like this. Oh. I listened to it. It's like, I remember it. Yeah, yeah. As soon as I heard it, it all came flooding back. Well, this show, Death Note, it was something that was one of my first ones as well. Like, it's sort of like everything well, happened at once. Ones, yeah. It was like, for me, it was like Sushi Pack was my very oh, yeah, first show that. with you. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And it was like Scott McNeil, Sam Vincent, Chiara Zani, Andrew Francis, Tara Strong. Paul Quinn was our voice director. Right. I, played, oh, uh, I played a piece of. Did you throw Adrian Holmes in there? Adrian Holmes, that's yeah. right. And um, super fun. And then I did Iron Man with you. Mm -hmm. And then I got an audition for Light. Had a callback for Light for this show called Death Note. But then I got Matsuda because I was super green, which worked very well with who I was as a you know beginner voice actor. And then I was like, well, this show is actually quite interesting. Was Death Note after Iron Man? It was sort of. Uh, yeah, it was kind of overlap, yeah. didn't it? Yeah, yeah. I think, yeah. And I just okay. and I started loving the show, and and before the show, before recording with you, yeah. I would watch the episodes on online because I was yeah. like, so intrigued. I'm like, what's happening? That's a next? great storyline. That's one yeah. of the best things about it. Is so mm -hmm. yeah, when I story when line. at the very end, when I was like, oh my gosh, you're getting to shoot like, oh, I'm so happy. So <laughs> I was horrible. thrilled. I was thrilled. Yeah, he was a bum. Oh, he was a bum. Yeah. Yeah. Well, your son was a bum. I, I know, as that. his mother, I did play his mother. <laughs> That's right. I was uh, seen more than heard, but that doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> as his mother, I was quite horrified that you did that. And yeah, it's okay. I did you a favor. It was a sister. I, I did worry that my name was in the book a few times. Right? Mm. Yeah. But, um, That's the thing. But yeah. That's the way it goes. Man. Still, I'm his mother, right? Yeah, it's okay. Oh. We should, um, you know, guys, we should probably take a little break when we hit an hour Ooh. so that I can go punch uh, Vincent I'll take out. It. She's uh, I'll take it. feeling this light stuff. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Who brought that up? Why? I think don't I worry about it. it. It's okay. But it's okay. It's also, okay. when we do take a break, you guys could go to like our little link in bio and you can look at these 
things we have. I'm going to sign a few um, when we come back. And if you go to the Anime Time Machine store in the link, you can get uh, Vince's stuff in our store as well today. Get if it. you're interested. It's in there. Oh, got it. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. So are we at an hour yet, Kenny? Well, two we minutes, too, but uh, two we're minutes. pretty much there, yeah. Okay. Oh, all these comments are good. We're going to lose these comments. God. Okay. Well, Kaled's well, been putting it them down. Grab it. Get those screenshots. What's that? Kaled's been writing them Kaled, down. Kaled, yes. Thank you for uh, getting thank some you, good. Thank you, Kaled. Yeah. Thank you. Would we come to Comic-Con Africa, David? Yes. Uh, that's a yes. Oh, yeah. Bring Comic -Con us. Comic-Con Africa? That's... Please bring us. Tell Comic-Con awesome that they need to Africa. get us to Africa. Do it. That's all they have to do. They'll do a live show there. Matsuda is not Darn an adorable tootin'. cinnamon roll. Oh, and apparently I'm Death Note came also. right before. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Death Note came right before Iron Man, which makes oh, sense. Oh, okay, there we go. It's official. There you go. Started. Christopher, right? Yeah. He's the one who would probably know. There you go. Yeah. Um, oh, we love you guys so much. Okay, yeah. Heidi was Brandy from Powerpuff Girls, please. Oh, well, we'll get to it. We'll, we'll try. We'll get to, to that. I was asked to do a shout out as um, Future Gohan. I'll get to that. On we'll do we that. Too, We're going to so. take probably a five ish minutes, like not a long time. So refresh. Hang tight, folks. Hang tight. Please go to our little store. So just browse around. Even if you don't buy anything, we've got some fun little prints in there and Funko Pops. <laughs> There's Funkos. Yeah. All right. We will be back very soon. <laughs>